The Philippines is an archipelago composed of approximately 7,500 islands located in Southeast Asia. It sits on the western fringes of the Pacific Rim of Fire and is one of the most active seismic and volcanic regions in the world. In the last 60 years, there have been seven major eruptions in the Philippines. The last major eruption was Mount Pinatubo, located on the Luzon Island in the north of the country in 1991. Mount Pinatubo is a subduction volcano caused by the Philippine plate sliding under the Eurasian plate. The eruption in 1991 was by far the largest in the 20th century to hit an urban centre. It produced high-speed avalanches of hot ash and gas and giant mud flows. The ash cloud reached a height of 34 kilometres and ashfall was recorded in places as far away as Cambodia. At the same time as the eruption, Typhoon Yunya passed 75 kilometres to the north. This made the consequences of the eruption significantly worse as the typhoon rains mixed with the ash causing huge lahars. It also blew the ash from the eruption much further than it would normally have gone. By 1993, consequent lahars at Mount Pinatubo have actually caused more damage to the surrounding lowlands than the eruption itself. The eruption injected around 17 million tonnes of sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere, the largest volume ever recorded. In conjunction with other chemical and climatic reactions, this resulted in a decline in the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface and caused a global fall of around 0.4 degrees Celsius that year. The eruption also had a significant effect on ozone levels in the atmosphere, causing a large increase in the destruction rate of ozone. At least 800 died as a result of the eruption, and up to 2.1 million people were affected, with livelihoods and houses being damaged or destroyed. Fortunately, scientists from the Philippines and US had forecast the eruption, saving at least 5,000 lives and more than $250 million in property damage and destruction. The Mount Pinatubo volcano was located on a major fault line which divides the entire length of the Philippine Islands. The fault is responsible for producing great seismic and volcanic activity in the region throughout history. The Philippine fault line is being influenced by major surrounding plains including the Philippines, the Pacific, and Eurasian, which breaks into the Sundra Plate. The Pacific Plate's movement towards the Philippines' eastern boundary has caused such force that it is also pushing the Philippine Plate into its western boundary neighbours, the Sundra and Eurasian Plate. This westerly movement has caused the subduction of the Philippines Plate below the Sundra and Eurasian Plate. This subduction zone west of the Philippines subduction boundary led to the formation of numerous active volcanoes and is the explanation for such a vast array of islands, which were originally erupting volcanoes. The fact is that volcanic activity for this region is a result of tectonic movements far more complex. The Philippines Mobile Belt is the name given to a section located just west of the boundary line between the Eurasian and Philippine plates in the subduction zone. In this subduction zone lies four major microplates, which are sections that originally broke off the larger surrounding plates and move independently. The compressive nature of the converging Philippines and Sundra and Eurasian plates causes a high tensile region where transformation and subduction processes occur, producing the large active volcano sites around this zone through the length of the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo's volcanic activity is directly related to these converging microplate boundaries and will remain active in the future due to Pacific plate's continuous pressure on the Philippine plate, subducting beneath it at a rate of 5 to 10 centimeters per year.